Hello everyone, welcome back. I want to talk to you guys today about this new rebranded uh, Tula ammunition. Okay, so the name of it is uh, Sergeant Major Munitions. Okay, and uh, it does not say that it's made in Russia. All right, but uh, the company is the Tula Cartridge Works, which is based in Russia. Uh, now, I don't know if they moved their plant outside of Russia. Um, I don't know if they're in the process of doing that. This doesn't say where it's made. Um, so I'm guessing that they've been in the process uh, of, of trying to move their plant and equipment and, and banking transactions uh, out of Russia into some other country. And... Uh, they probably haven't gotten established well enough uh, to put what country that is. Okay, that's what I'm suspecting. I don't know, but this is definitely made at the Tula Cartridge Works. Uh, and it definitely does not say anywhere on the box. And I've looked it over very carefully. Okay, it does not say anywhere on the box that it is made in Russia. Okay, now a couple of interesting uh, features here. Uh, it says range friendly. It says brass jacket, 115 grain, zinc plated case, non corrosive, 50 cartridges, range fr friendly. Sergeant Major Munition, okay? Um, now, for me personally, it, it doesn't matter. I shoot steel case all the time. Um, but uh, at a lot of ranges that some of you guys go to, they won't let you shoot steel case. Uh, I've done a video on the why. The why is very simple. Uh, basically, they collect the brass and they sell it, okay? Uh, and, uh, you know, they don't have time to sort that kind of stuff out. The people coming in to buy it don't have time to sort it out. So if it's a, a mixture of brass and steel, uh, the price that they give is the, the lower price for steel, okay? Uh, if it's all brass, then they give the higher price, okay? Um, now, uh, I, I know this because I've got people calling me up on a pretty regular brace uh, pretty regular basis looking to buy my brass and I tell them I don't use brass I mainly use a steel case do you want to buy steel case and they're like no no we're really not interested in steel case we want brass okay so that is the only reason why gun rangers um, won't allow steel case ammunition uh, they'll say bullshit about the you know it damages the, the backstops that's complete bullshit um, uh, they'll say other bullshit about it being safe or unsafe. It's that complete bullshit, okay? Take it from me. I'm a range safety officer. Uh, I'm, a, now I'm a chief range safety officer. So I'm in on the meetings, okay? I know why they're doing it, right? They, they're doing it because uh, they get a higher price for the uh, uh, for the brass. Now, interesting thing about this. First of all, uh, let's take a closer look at this. Let me pull this out of the box. Let's see if I can get this box open. There you go. So, this stuff is really pretty. I really like the way this stuff looks. Look at that. That is pretty. Nice, shiny. Um, now, here, here's an important feature, though. All right. Uh, regardless of what this is made out of or not made out of, it's magnetic. Okay. Uh, most ranges, when they do the steel case test, they use a magnet. Okay, this is not going to pass that test, okay? Uh, and they're not going to care what the box says on it. Uh, they're going to say that this is how we test it, and if it does that, you can't shoot it, okay? Um, and for that matter, though, even if you were using aluminum, which is not magnetic, they probably still wouldn't let you shoot the aluminum because they don't want you shooting aluminum, and they want you shooting brass, okay? They get more money for brass. They don't want to mix in other things. Uh, and if that bothers you, the way you deal with it is you just collect all your brass, you take it home with you, you throw it out or recycle it, whatever. Um, but that's, that's how you deal with that if you don't like that policy. Um, so, uh, so this stuff is magnetic. Uh, it, it does not make it di any difference in the world to me, okay? Uh, but it might help some of you in a few circumstances, but I, I don't think so. I don't think it's going to help you get onto a range because it is magnetic. Now, where I think it does make a difference compared to uh, steel cases because it's I don't know, zinc coated, it is smoother. So if you have a, like a Palmer 80 you just built that you're still breaking in, um, th because it's smoother, uh, it's gonna have less resistance in feeding. So, so 
because sometimes you'll have some, you know some guns will work with steel case others don't uh the the pressure on tula nine millimeter in some cases is actually higher than some of like like federal brass okay so it's not like it's underpowered because tula 223 is sometimes a little bit underpowered but the um the, the Tula 9 millimeter, uh, it's it's right up there. It's I get like 300 close. I think that last time I checked it, I got 357 foot pounds of energy. Uh, so the Tula 9 millimeter is not underpowered. Uh, so the only reason why uh, it's not gonna feed in some guns, right? It has nothing to do with the shape of the bullet, right? Unless you're using hollow tips. Right? If you if you're using a, a full metal jacket that has that shape. Uh, you know, you, you should not have any problems with the gun working. The only reason it would, uh, the only reason why steel case would not work in, in your gun, right, given that all the other things are equal, is because the body on steel case uh, is a little rougher compared to brass, okay? So this, the body of this uh, Sergeant Major Munition 9mm uh, feels just like brass. So if you um, shoot uh, if you need to shoot brass in your guns because you have feeding problems, uh, I have I have a strong suspicion that this is going to work. Now, as far as price, uh, only reason why I bought this is because it was the cheapest thing that I could find. Right? I, I go to I go to uh, um, Ammo Seek and I basically look up the cheapest nine millimeter or whatever I can find uh, in any um, uh, you know in any cart in any uh, uh, caliber I'm looking for uh, and. In, in a thousand round cases, uh, this was it, okay? Uh, the Sergeant Major Munition. I could see Tula, uh, you know, a little bit lower on that uh, ammo seek listing. It was at a higher price, so I said, hey, you know what, let's give this a shot. Uh, so I got this for under uh, under $300 for a thousand rounds. I think it was something like 285 or something like that. And then the, the shipping wasn't crazy because sometimes these companies will get you on the shipping, right? They'll, they'll, they'll charge you a, a crazy price on the shipping. Um, what I did with this Sergeant Munition, the place I bought it from is called Tundra, Michigan, okay? Um, came up on Ammo Seek, um, and it was the first time I was ordering from this company. Uh, so I, instead of ordering the usual 4,000 rounds at a time that I order, I said, you know what, let me just get 1,000 rounds for them. Uh, plus, I've never shot this uh, ammo before. Let's try it out. So I put in an order for a thousand rounds. I've been testing it out for the last couple of days. I've already shot about 300 rounds uh, in both my Palmer 80s, my you know G17, G19, G43. Uh, I've shot it through the uh, the Palmetto PX9s, 16 uh, inch barrel. I've shot it through the uh, uh, 10 inch barrel, seven and a half inch barrel. It works great on all of them. Okay, so the ammunition works. It's it's really good. So uh, what I did last night, I went back to. Uh, to Tundra, Michigan's website, uh, and I was going to order four boxes from them, but uh, be basically I, I could only order three, uh, just because of the, the way the shipping is. So they said that I, I did contact them about, hey, what's the deal? Why can't I get four boxes? And they told me that, hey, listen, you gotta you, because of the, uh, the FedEx or whoever they're using has a weight limit of some 66 pounds or something. Uh, they said you gotta put it in in two separate orders. So the next time I'm ordering, I know I gotta break up my orders. So what I did is I ordered three. I ordered three cases, right? Uh, three thousand rounds, um, and uh, the the shipping is uh, on thousand rounds was thirty dollars. If you get two, it's sixty dollars, and then if, for the three, it was eighty five dollars. So I actually saved five dollars by getting uh, three thousand rounds. Okay, so, uh, so so the point I'm saying uh, with this Michigan. T Tundra, Michigan, they don't try to screw you on the shipping, which is really important. I'm sure most of you guys that have been ordering know that a lot of companies screw you on the shipping. They throw out a cheap price, but then they, they, they really upcharge you there. Uh, the shipping is decent at $30, okay? Uh, I have seen it less at times, but I definitely have seen it way, way, way more. Um, so this company is pretty good. Check it out. That's Tundra, Michigan. I don't get paid from them. Never heard of them. Like I said, I only ordered a 1,000 rounds because I didn't know... How, you know, by the way, I got it in three days. In three days, I got my first order. Uh, you know, I, I shot, like I said, uh, within two days, I shot more than 300 rounds. And then last night, I put in another uh, 3,000 rounds, okay? Uh, let's talk a little bit about accuracy on this. Uh, because the, the accuracy is, is good. I mean, the accuracy is decent. So I, I took out my, my uh, m most accurate 9mm rifle that's got the magnifier on it. Um, first, I took... Uh, First of all, you guys can see the wind, right? Look at the if you look at the wind ribbons blowing over there. Let me see, make sure you guys can see them. All right, if you look at the wind ribbons blowing on the side there, okay, it is a windy day today. Okay, so this wind, and I, I was trying to try, I was trying to time it 
between the gusts of winds, but you know, sometimes like the wind will drop here, but I can see ribbons moving downrange. And sometimes I'll see ribbons going one direction, ribbons going the other direction. So it's just a, it's just a bad day. But I figured that, hey, uh, given everything that's going on right now with, with the Russians, and like I said, this stuff is made at Tula Works, um, I have a feeling that, that, that the, uh, we're going to have some problems in 2022 getting ammunition. That's why, you know, I'm, I'm getting my, as much ammo as I possibly can now. Okay, don't wait until... Uh, uh, because here's the thing, even if you don't shoot steel case, here's the thing as, I mean, I've been known to shoot two, 3,000 rounds in a week, okay? When I can't get steel case, I, I, go, I go to the brass, right? So if you're one of those guys that only shoots brass, when I can't get steel case ammo, I'm coming after your brass, okay? So get the ammo now, right? So first what I did is I shot this at 50 yards uh, because uh, the reason I did it at 50 yards, I wanted, first I wanted to check my zero, which I knew would be good. But I wanted to see, uh, you know, at 50 yards, the wind might affect it a little bit less. Uh, so, so, 50 yards, uh, you know, let's get a, see what we're doing there. So, I got, put three shots there, and I got three inches, okay? Three inches at 50 yards. Uh, again, mind the wind, the wind's going a little crazy. Then I went out to 100 yards. Hey, by the way, when I'm trying to take my three shots, uh, I'm trying to take them as fast as I can. So given that I know it's windy, I want to try and get all three shots off under the same exact wind conditions, right? And before the wind has a chance to change direction. So uh, at 100 yards, I got a little bit more lucky, all right? I got three shots off at 100 yards, and I got three and a half, oh, where are we? Uh, let's call it four, four inches. I got four inches, four inches at 100 yards, okay? Uh, which I don't think is terrible with nine millimeter on a really windy day like this, uh, four inches at a hundred yards, you know, four M away. And I, on a nice day, I will easily get that down to three M away. Uh, you know, you know, I, I, I've shot this rifle enough. I have enough experience with Tula, uh, that I know that occasionally I'll get two inch groups, but for the most part, I will average about three inches. So if, on a windy day, I'm getting four inches. Four M away. I'm going to say that on a uh, on a nicer day, I'm going to get I'm going to get three inches. Okay, so the ammunition is accurate. There's no if you know it, it's good ammunition. It's accurate. Um, have not had any misfires. Have, have not had any problems with it. Uh, 300 rounds in, I had enough confidence in it to order more ammunition. Um, so that's where, where it is. Let me uh, put this down. I'll take a couple of shots for you guys. I, I gotta tell you, this ammunition looks, I don't know if you guys can see, it looks really cool when you throw into a bucket, nice, nice and, and shiny. I got a six inch plate at a hundred yards. Let's see if we can get any hits on it uh, with, with this uh, wind that's out. But like I said, I was able to time it and uh, I'm really comfortable with the four inch grouping that I got on a day like this. But I know that's going to give me three inches. Uh, and, and remember, this isn't 223, this is nine millimeter, right? This is really intended for, for a pistol, right? This is pistol ammo. Um, so that, I think that, that's, that's really good uh, accuracy, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom you guys out so you guys can see a little bit better. See if I can zoom you guys out a little bit. Take you out to 10 times. Yeah. Where are you? There it is. Nice. Oops, too far. Camera's moving a little bit. There it goes. All right, so that's right in the center of your screen now. That's at 100 yards. Six inch plate. And we're shooting it with this uh, Sergeant Major Munitions from Tula Works.
Let me throw it up top a little bit. Let me zoom, zoom you guys back out. All right, so we got a couple of hits at 100 yards, but this wind's a little bit, a little bit crazy today. Um, but anyway, so what we can see, was I measure? Oh, I measure. At 50 yards, that was my zero over here, and then at 100 yards, the center of my zero was right here. So there is uh, basically a. Oh, there's my center. A three and a half inch drop from 50 yards uh, to 100 yards, right? So if you got a 50 yard zero, and if you got 50 yard zero, and you go out to 100 yards, you can expect that your, your the center of your grouping uh, is going to drop by about three and a half inches. So that's also something interesting to keep in mind. Um, and so at the uh, at the at, at the uh, uh, 100 yards over there, I hold about four inches high. Uh, when I go to 145 yards, which I'm not doing today because of the wind, when I go to 145 yards, I hold about 12 inches high, okay, uh, with this uh, set, you know, with that 50 yard zero on the nine millimeter. So, hope you guys found this interesting. Uh, so again, it's uh, talking about Sergeant Major Munitions uh, from the where is it? Hold on, I'm gonna sort somewhere over here. Oh, right. There it is. The Tula Cartridge Works. Manufacturer, actually it says it's manufacturer JSC, the Tula Cartridge Works. So I don't know what uh, JSC means relative to this stuff. This is just a normal warnings. There's a lot of little letters there, but I didn't see anything uh, that really is of much interest to us. All right, so this, this one is, I, I mean, good stuff. Um, I've already shot about 300 rounds, no problems. Accuracy is uh, decent, four inches at 100 yards. Um, if you got any questions, drop them below in the comments. If you're not a member of the channel, subscribe. Uh, hit the bell button so you get notification of new videos I put up. I'll talk to you all soon.